Okay, here we have the limit as t goes to 0 of a to the t minus phi to the t over t. If t is equal to 0 in 2 dot. Okay, here we have the limit as t goes to 0 of a to the t minus phi to the t over t. When we plug in 0 into all the t's, we will get 0 over 0. So we know we can use Laputa's rule. And let's go ahead and just make that happen. This is the 0 over 0 case. Laputa's rule in action. So let's go ahead and differentiate the top. And I know the hardest part of this part of <laughs> this question is to remember the derivative of a number to the t's power. Here is the note for you guys. Whenever we're differentiating, and let me just put an x because this is a typical notation. When we have b for the base raised to the x power, this right here will give us, we repeat that. Whenever we have exponential part like this, it repeats. And then we multiply by ln of the base, like this. All right? So coming back here, after the Laputa's rule, we still have the limit as t goes to 0. The derivative of a to the t will be 8 to the t, but we multiply by ln 8. And then minus the derivative of this is 5 to the t, and then multiply by ln 5. And then the derivative of t is just equal to 1. So that's what we have. And then we can just put 0 into all the t's. So we get 8 to the 0 times ln 8 minus 5 to the 0 times ln 5. This is just 1, likewise that. So we just have ln 8 minus ln 5. And in fact, when we subtract two ln's, we can put the insects together and make them into a division. So this right here, we can write it as ln of 8 over 5. And that will be the answer. And as I said, this is the hardest part of the question. So remember your derivatives.